with. Today I've done a couple interesting damn videos. And, um, I don't know. I, I just, um, hope I got people thinking today. The whole day was about making people think differently. And, um, for me, um, there's a, bra a, bla a brazen, there's a brazen reality that seared into my brain that not all people think equally. I mean, for somebody to tell me that people couldn't live in a society if uh, they didn't have to struggle hurt my feelings. Um, that didn't make me cry. Oh, I fixed the $800 thing on eBay, so I don't even trip. That's something that you know only somebody else know about. Um, oh, I'm trying to buy this big old Tascam mixing board, so I got that in the work. I'm still working on the studio. I want to expand uh, my green screen room. Um, I'm looking for a new video camera, and um, that's what I've been working on. Um, I have dreams and aspirations. I just don't want to be sitting here time after time, year after year doing this. Um, just recently, it was my first year, and coming up on what the ninth, I think I forget. It'll be two years, two years of YouTube. Um, I want to mention this again because I mentioned this before in several videos. The older you get, the faster time goes by. Time is not relevant once you understand that time itself is not measurable. In other words, it's almost been two years, and just recently I was saying thank you for me being here for a year, and it's almost fucking like said, next week it'll be two years. And what happened the last year? I want you to go back and look at the videos if you can, and you see that <laughs> out of all my videos, I am the same from year one to the end. I may have said things differently because you learn how to speak on YouTube after a while. People are so ignorant and fucking stupid that they don't understand when you're speaking English or sign language. They just only hear the color of your skin or the nappiness of your hair or the dirtiness of your house in the background or the pictures on the wall. Sometimes they tune out to look inside the window to see what real life is in someone else's home. And they get beyond what you're saying and they forget what you're saying and they don't understand what you're saying. Somebody can turn on the video and just see your face and decide to say something negative and two years. Two years, come on, I mean, been to court, been going to trial, I went to trial for shit, months, not trial. <laughs> It's like a fucking trial. There's people judging you based on some things written down on a piece of paper that mean nothing to nobody. Um, what can I say about today? What can I say about today? Uh, if I say the date, the video will be dated. If I don't say the date, this video could live forever and somebody can just turn it on 15 years from now and They'll be hearing a man say, what about today? You see what I'm saying? What is uh, your existence here? I mean, we tried to talk about people's purposes in life. We tried to talk about thinking about other people. We tried to talk about being a better person. We tried to talk about throwing race to the side. So, um... Then we tried to talk about a world where if enlightening the mind was this total purpose and goal of every human being, we could focus on enlightening people's minds and furthering scientific knowledge of the human species on a global scale other than a handful of people know what the fuck we are and Another handful of people know what the purpose is, and everybody who knows the truth are dying. Am I a poet? Am I a prophet? 
and my Looney Tune, my black man, my white man. What am I? I'm a human being. And a friend of mine, who I love to call a friend, he is my friend, didn't agree with my very last video. I could tell by the tone in his message. But what I'm trying to say is, when I have this philosophical conversation, and when I speak of God, I don't speak of some entity spaceship riding or sitting on some clouds. I speak of man. Because if God is the person who created all creation and create, 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 and what do we do here? We create. We are a creative species. So when I speak of God, I speak of man itself as the person or entity that's created the technology to take care of everybody. So let's not get it twisted. I do not believe in some mythical character or characters at all based on the f philosophy of what a god or god or whoever is god is supposed to be based on a philosophy um, there is no proof that there actually is so either god sits next to santa claus and the easter bunny tooth fairy and all those gods on Mount Olympus. If there is one entity in which we spawn from, he or she ain't here. And if we are indeed created in that person's image, then the rest of the image needs to be lived out by the human people. It is one thing to look like God. It's another thing to act like God. And there's one more level. To play God. So, if we as a people are truly God, then we as a people have a right and a power and a responsibility to make sure we as a whole survive. And if that is the case, then we should take care of each other. All of our technology and every uh, discovery we make should be to further mankind and lease the burden upon its people. Based on the course of time and the travel of technology, you honestly look at me in the camera and tell me that humanity wouldn't be better off using the technology for humanity and not against humanity. You tell me honestly that if we could take care of ourselves through our technology as a whole that the world would not be better. People would not learn anything. We could not evolve to be a better species and a better people. You tell me that every single man, boy, woman, and child should have to pay to survive and to live. Life itself is not a gift anymore. It's a burden. You got to pay to live. I said in the video earlier, we have this pay-per-view life. Each day cost us something. Why? Who's collecting? If it isn't the greater of all men, then why should we pay for anything to any man? Tell me, why should the technology cost? Why should, should those who can afford to live, live and those who can't live, die. Why? For whose program? For what? For what cost?